Hi everybody, welcome to today's Wellness Wednesday video. My name is Katherine Gallagher and I'm the new librarian at the junior high school and I'm super excited to be here with you today. And today I'll be talking about how to take time for yourself, which sounds pretty simple, but especially now with everything going on with the, uh, with the health in the US, if you're working full time, if you're a parent, if you're in school, if you have siblings to take care of, taking time for yourself might actually be the very last thing on your to-do list. So that's why I wanted to highlight it in today's video. So while I was doing some research about this topic, I found five health benefits that I would like to quickly review. So why take time for yourself? Number one, it can improve your mental health. Number two, it can spark your creativity. Number three, it can boost your self-esteem. Number four, it can help you create empathy for others. And number five, it can help you better understand yourself. So you might be thinking, oh, this sounds great, Catherine, but how the heck do I do it? Well, I'll show you how. So while I was thinking of an answer to this question, I came up with something I'd like to call the 5 15, 30 activity. So what that is, is that it's thinking of one activity that you could do for five minutes every day, one activity you could do for 15 minutes every day, and another activity you could do for 30 minutes every day. So how this would work is that you would brainstorm ideas on a piece of paper or on your cell phone. And if you feel overwhelmed at first thinking of these different time increments, you could simply write down all the activities or hobbies you like to do in your free time and then narrow it down from there. So I thought I would go over some examples of what this might look like and questions to ask yourself. So what are some of your favorite TV shows or movies? What are some books you like to read if you like to read? What is some food you like to eat or food you enjoy eating? What do you like to do with your partner or spouse on the weekends or when you have free time? What are some favorite musicians or bands you'd like to listen to? What you like to do with your child or if you're a student watching this video, what is something that you'd like to do with your parent or guardian or even an older sibling? So I thought I would put these examples into reality to give you a bit of a better perspective because I think it's something that, like I said, it is a great idea, but actually doing it day to day might seem a little overwhelming. So I thought of some ideas that I could do. So. Number one, and sorry, my face is in the way there. Um, so the first idea for my favorite TV show or movie, I like to watch Wheel of Fortune. So one way I could do that for 30 minutes is to watch that on Friday evenings. Instead of every weeknight, I could just watch it on Fridays. So I'm choosing one day a week to watch the show I like. Secondly, with books I like to read. So I like to read romance novels. One thing I could do for 15 minutes maybe every other night or on the weekends, is that I could read before bed every night to help me fall asleep. For number three, food I like to eat. I love Korean food. So one thing I could do during my lunch break is I could spend five minutes on the internet looking up new recipes to make. Number four, what I like to do with my partner or spouse. So I have a boyfriend and he lives in North Carolina right now. So what I like to do is I like to spend time talking with him on FaceTime for about 30 minutes. Number five, thinking of a favorite musician or band, I like to listen to Lady Gaga. So one way I could do that is by putting one of her songs on while I'm getting ready in the morning for work. Number six, what I like to do with a child, or excuse me, my child, so I don't actually have any children. And like I said, I'm not married, so instead, of doing something with my child, I would play with my puppy for 15 minutes. And if I was a child, uh, or I have a sibling, so I could spend 15 minutes with my sister every day doing something that we like to do together, such as walking our dog. So like I was saying, I'll give you some examples of what my 5, 15, 30 would look like. So something I could do for five minutes every day would be talking with my sister about her day at work because she's also works in education. She's, she's a teacher assistant at an elementary school. Something I could do for 15 minutes every day 
which I'm trying to do starting now, is taking my puppy Nelly on a walk. And something I could do for 30 minutes a day is exercising, which I found really helps with my mental health. So some closing thoughts. First of all, taking a small amount of time for yourself every day, like I said, has many health benefits. The second point is to not be afraid to start small when you're planning about how to take time for yourself because, like I said, it might require you to think harder or deeper about what you really like to do and how you like to spend your time, especially if you don't have that much of your own free time to spend. Number three, and I think this is really important, is that you can adjust your 5, 15, 30 to whatever time increments work for you. So you could do a 10, 20, 30, a 10, 30, 60, whatever works to fit into your schedule. And also your time for yourself might look different than someone else's and that's totally okay because how I choose to spend time for myself might look different than how you choose, than how your child chooses, that sort of thing. And finally, remember to spend those however many minutes, so whether it's five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or another amount that you choose doing what you love and enjoy because it's all about taking time for yourself. And finally, if you would like to contact me, if you were your child, uh, please feel free to call me at the Junior High Library or send me an email. I hope you all have a great day and go Hornets.